Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Gang of London. Um, I'm not expecting this to go well. Um, this, if this goes up, it means it's not bad. I'm not expecting it to go up. <laughs> Just because, <coughs> excuse me, it is, oh, fuck. Saving this profile, yes, I know. Yeah, I'm just not expecting it to hold my attention very long. If I can't do the getaway, chances are I might not be able to do this. If I do, congrats, they actually made a half-decent game that isn't complete dog showing. Take over the city, choose your gang and defeat your rivals area by area, street by street. Your progress in story mode will unlock features in other game modes. Ooh. Oh, you can either choose... Beneath the familiar face of London lies another world. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna choose the fucking, fucking Cockney guys. An underworld ruled by rival gangs, where everyone operates outside the law, and the price of respect is a bullet. As the battle lines are drawn, who will be the last gang standing? Yeah, we're gonna have a pick, Kane. I mean, I believe the description of these gangs are in the manual. Because why would you ever tell people who they are? This is why I like manuals. Gangs, Morris Kane firm, the longest established of the London gangs. Morris Kane's men are famed for their brutality. Advantages, able to dish out pain and receive it in equal measure. Disadvantages, like their cars, like the Morris Kane firm, are tough old bangers, but not the quickest off the blocks. EC2 crew, a powerful force in gangland London, whom, for whom respect is everything. Advantages hard as nails, completely fearless, and with a reputation for brutality that leaves you even the toughest enemy running for cover. Disadvantages aiming isn't, aiming isn't their strong point, but with weapons like the Magnum Pistol, it doesn't need to be. Um, Talwar Brothers, newcomers to the London gang scene, they are quickly making their mark in blood. Advantages they like their weapons, like their cars, swift and deadly. Disadvantages not used in close quarter combat, this young gang like direct battle experience. Hit and run is more the Talwar Brothers style. It is Russian, yes, I do soon. Salva. Oh no, Zakharov. He might be the Russian. Um, military style operation combining the latest technology and old fashioned ruthlessness. Advantages a well balanced force that benefits from access to high tech weaponry. Disadvantages their vehicles aren't the most nimble and they tend to fear better fighting from range rather than getting close up. Water Dragon Triad. Last gang team. Governed by a strict code of loyalty, the Water Dragons are just feared throughout London's criminal underworld. Adventures, incurable speed freaks, their cars offer precise control and handling and can outburn their rivals. Disadvantages, not as tough as from other gangs, although they make up for this with skillful use of weapons. Yeah, of course I'm going to go with the Morris Kane firm, because we're cockney, in it. Hey, Horizon. <laughs> of course you have to type, hey, yo, fam, gangs are London, in it. I mean, I could do the, um, the Watch Dogs Legion. Um, thing. I could. I could reread all that and... I mean, you just heard me do it in my English accent. Now, here's my Watch Dogs Legion accent. The longest establishment of the Landon Gangs, Morris Kane's men are famed for their brutality. Able to dish out pain and receive it in equal measure. Not their cars, the Morris Kane firm are tough old bangers, but not the quickest off the blocks. Fucking Watch Dogs Legion bullshit. I mean, of course I'm going to go with the Cockney Gangs. Oh, it does say it. No mind. Oh, these boys still terrify Londoners and with very good reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course, I'm going to go with the fucking Cockney guys. I'm fairly certain they're Cockney, but. I mean, Kane's country house. I'm not going to go with the Russians, the Chinese, the whoever else, and the other guys. Of course, I'm going to go you with the Londoners. You think the boss will get enough of pigeons in London? Maybe he's got a secret feather fetish. Well, they call them pigeon fancies, after all. <laughs> Shut it, you idiots. Morris has been breeding pigeons for years. He cares more for them than he does for his missus. Who's a good girl then, eh? I'm counting on you to win tomorrow, Mabel. So you have a nice little kip, and I'll be back in the morning. No! Great pigeons. I'm not letting.
letting this one go. These little fuckers calling themselves gangsters and fighting like girls. Well, they're about to find out what a real gang war's all about. No, oh, because they killed his pigeon. Who is this guy? Fucking John Wick. Play tutorial mission, yes, because I don't remember how to play this. If I remember correctly, it doesn't matter if you die, because you can play as anyone. So, Benny, it's time. I hope the new boys are up to the job. The armored van's gonna be at the airport for a few hours. We've got plenty of time to get in, nick it, and get out again. If you pull this off, we'll have enough cash to start taking over this city properly. Nah, get on with it. Okay, Chris. And yes, of course, I chose the Englishman. Oh, so because obviously I have to be abysmal in Watch Dogs Legion. Fingers crossed they don't go down the Oi, blow it! Oh, I'm gonna at you for the world's all I am! Oh, bloody hell, welcome to tutorial! Although, to be honest, someone would say welcome to tutorial. That is a thing, but... Obviously, how realistic it is to London. Well, voice acting so far, it's not... Oh, bloody! Oh, oh they, they, they've killed me pigeons, they have! Oh, I'm gonna have them! Oh, I can use the analog stick, but I'm probably going to use the um, directional pad. I fucking hate the analog stick on the PSP. It's so tiny, and they thought the grip by adding the um, obviously small indentations by adding grooves would add grip. But no, instead it just ties your thumb out. And of course, I'm a bold white guy, so of course this is London. Although there is no one at the airport. So, and she's also running, uh, oh, she's got like four frames, nice. Hello. You need to get to the baggage handling area, the hair has been marked on your head. Good, head there now. Yeah, we'll see how long I play it for, that's the main thing. <laughs> Because obviously I can barely play two missions of um, Getaway, so. But I mean, like I say, what I did play of this when I bought it like four months ago or whenever. Fucking hell, it was only bought four months ago. Well, wow. yeah, so you know. I mean, like I said, I played a few missions and it seemed alright, it didn't seem terrible, but who knows. Oh, only one airplane at the airport. Nice. Your cousin of is a stealth girl by pressing X. You can elect to hold him hostage by tapping triangle. Rip. Oh no, they've got baseball bats. You. Oh no, you've joined up with your gang. They will fight alongside you and follow your orders. Head for the exit area with my gang. Oh, I've got a baseball bat. Oh no, I was one of them. And he's got a gun. Oh, fuck me. First of all, that's very unrealistic. Police don't have guns. <laughs> I mean, we do, but we have very specific trained units who use guns, and a policeman at an airport would never use a gun. At least not that I'm aware of, anyway. I was not paying attention. <laughs> um, driving aids. That's not nice. You gotta see a doctor about that. I display street names visual effect. Grayscale, black and white spectrum, night vision, video, retro. Oh! Yeah, I don't know what it said because I wasn't reading. <laughs> um. Oh, hold circle. 
Um, all your achievements to move forward by press by tapping up and then releasing circle. Yeah, now watch him just run at him whilst he's got a gun. Oh, he's doing the gangster thing. He's not a security guard. Because he just tried to... Hey, yo! It's already extremely unreal. And this is coming from a London studio as well. Hey, yo! I'm a security guard. There's some more guards up ahead, but one of your teammates is in no condition to fight. And you can turn the hand back, can you not? Oh, Dave! Hope. Oh. I don't know what any of that said because I'm mashing. I'm. I mean, okay, that that's a little bit of a design flaw. <laughs> like, I've got to mash X to attack, which is also the same button as you know to accept the message system. So yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what this tutorial said, and I never will. Oh, you can release teammates using the same technique. Remember, if you and all your gang get handcuffed, it's game over. Pigs know battle plans for the armored van. They've got an ambush set up for you guys. Oh, well, you mean us. But I've got guns stashed in the boot of the car. We'll give them one hell of a welcoming party. Okay, so why does he get an SMG, two shotgun? Well, sorry, an SMG, an assault rifle, a shotgun, and I get a fucking pistol. Bullshit. Oh no, it's the Rosas. Defeat the police progress. Tap X will fire your weapon. Holding on will put you in a firing stance, letting you more accuracy during gun fights. Your weapon clip is nearly empty. <laughs> you can reload your weapon anytime by holding square. Okay, thanks for that one again. You can take over the low height by crouching and you can buy fat from cover. Police ambush has been taking care of now. Approach the almond van. of tutorial oh yeah and I know I'm on the wrong side of the road but I don't know behind you full frame rate Um, that car's going to drive straight into that copper. Yep. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, just completely hot me. Nice physics. 
They can't catch us. They're right fucking behind. Never mind. They just gave up. He's on the motorway. Give up, lads. He's long gone. Also, no spike strip. Like, two coppers, no spike strip. All blimey, eh? Unrealistic. Yeah, we're out of ten. You all did a good job. Let's hope it's just the beginning, boss. Oh, don't want to play on easy, normal, or hard. Oh, give me normal. Congratulations, I've unlocked a new character and car and free roaming. Mm -hmm. Choose the next mission to play. Complete missions to win over enemy turf. Some territories may require more than one mission to be completed before they are captured. So we have the southeast of London, right? So I'm guessing we're the guys, obviously, the. Which I'm gonna have a quick look see to see if they are color coded on here. Also, it says Steel Associates, but they're not even in here. Yeah, Steel Associates aren't even on here. Yeah, we are the guys to the right. Obviously, Zakharov is below us. Tawa is to the northwest. EC2 crew is northeast, and I'm guessing the water dragons are to the west. Um, I mean, do we go after Russians or do we go after Steel Associates? Um, well, I mean, that does say sandwich break, so I mean, to be honest, I could go for a bit of a sandwich. A city sandwich. Get the old good old plowman's lunch. What the fuck are you doing here, Dave? You're supposed to stay in the car. I'm getting your poncy sandwich, okay? I forgot to ask for a drink. I thought maybe an iced tea or a... Shit! Someone's nicking the money! Idiot. That's one of Andy Steele's men. Didn't you even lock the bloody car? If he gets away, we're dead men walking. I'll ram that fucker off the road. So far, English. And again, not the, oh, bloody, oh, no. But, you know, same walking. About right, oh, wow. He is going at a snail's pace. Quick, run, lads. Phew. Not getting in the bloody jail. Oh, bloody white van man, get out of the way. Oh, you fucking whore. I mean, of course they would. Oh, it's also nice the indicator tells you which way they went. I mean, I've got the bloody hood, so I'm not bothered. You don't have to take a left turn. Fucking cabby. Oh, you're a dick. Oh my god. Come here, you poncy twat. I think I'm at the Thames. Oh, you dick. They've stopped. Well, I mean, to be honest, we did kind of put a, a few bullets in them. You know. They've stopped. <laughs> Not the smartest. They're not, are they? I hope that tastes as good coming up as it did going down, because I'm about to kick your bollocks into your fucking throat. Your guys will become more experienced as they complete missions. Watch out if they are incapacitated during a mission, they will not benefit from it. 
who we've got Benny, Mad Mick, Dave, and Ron. Accuracy. How was my accuracy? 83%. I mean, I guess I did fire an extra shot before it locked on, so... But nice. From Andy Steele. That was a stupid thing to do. Now we're going to finish what you've started. Also, it's nice that it's on a shitty fucking Nokia tiny brick phone. When did this game come out? 2006. Okay, yeah, brick phones were still a thing. Some missions are located on your own turf. Complete these missions to open up new areas to attack. Oh. Enemy extraction. Arson around. I'll give you that one. I will give you that one. Fuck okay. hell. Arson around. Outside the gang hangout. I mean, I might like this game. I mean, obviously I've only played the tutorial and one mission. But compared to the getaway, I might like this. Some of Zakharov's men just dumped Johnny out front. Looks like the snowman's handiwork. Um, well, he is. Could you at least give him a hand? <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna take out the snowman and Zakharov's arseholes with our own blizzard of fucking bullets. Vauxhall Bridge. I don't know where that is. Oh, I've got a shotgun? Kill the snowman. And what about that little boy? Go! Oh. Um, can I switch members? Oh, come on, he's got a builder's bomb. God damn it. You can just see his crack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got a builder's bomb. Um, oh no, just standing around heals you. Oh, okay. I mean, to be honest, it would still be better if I could switch characters. Because I don't like the shotgun. Just because you have to get so close. If I can. Um, oh, circle button tap. Yeah, give me him. I don't want Builder's Bomb over here. Oh, no. Thanks for helping out, guys. Really bloody appreciate it. Oh, you dick. Why'd you move? I hope to God there's no um, team damage. I don't think there is, but I hope there isn't. No, help me. You coming or not? Take your sweet ass time then. May as well wait a moment until I can heal. because he's got lower health or more health oh, no. I'm glad I changed to the guy with the shotgun now <laughs> Snowman's on ice. How's Johnny? He's okay. He's pretty pissed off though. It's his wanking arm. Wait, he wanks with his left arm? 
Come off, mate. Bullshit, well, I don't believe him. Be give him a hand. <laughs> I mean, I already made that joke, but sure. This game isn't bloody awful. No, it bloody well isn't. So far. So far. Couldn't get worse. From Zakharov. I thought we had agreed to a truce. Consider the agreement and your gang terminated. Sorry. I thought we had agreement. Agreed to truce. Consider the agreement and your gang terminated. Bridge on the river Thames. On London streets, a plan unfolds. <gasps> Not London streets. Are you out of your fucking mind? Uh, I'm not. So what you're saying is, I'll go to Zakharov's turf and get myself grabbed. Meanwhile, you kidnap a Zakharov heavy and suggest an exchange. On Vauxhall Bridge, only once I'm across, you're going to kill them all, yeah? That's about the size of it, Ron. Not much shit-eating grin. Yes, and if you die, oh well. Oh, we're already here. This is like Max Payne. Well, I mean, you know. Nice bomb crack. Oh! I'm gonna die. No! No. Yes, I get a restart. <laughs> I'm probably going to switch to the guy with the grenades. Whoa, intense. I know, right? I didn't even do anything. I walked forwards because I had a bloody shotgun. Immediately got rinsed. And then the guy with the grenades decided, you know what? Fuck this. Oh, nice, nice toss, that one. No, stop throwing grenades, you stupid fuck! If that car blows up, then they don't run. Fucking dick ones. Please don't run him over. Oh, this car's on fire. Also, it's nice how the civilians are still just trying to drive into the blown up cars. Like, I'm late for work here, mate. Could you two, could you lot just, you know, do this elsewhere? And get this wreckage out my way, please? Instead of reversing and getting the fuck out of there, it's just... I'll wait. Oh shit, me car's on fire. I think that's a fair swap, don't you? <laughs> and everyone lived. Woo. As long as everyone living levels up and they get more health, then it will make the missions obviously easier. Congratulations, you have unlocked the ability to replay missions from story mode. Oh, and we've taken out that territory. I don't know, may as well do this one, right? Oh, and I can go after the EC2 crew. Nah. I mean, I may as well just go after Zakharov for now, right? Can Gang Rammers permadie? Yes. Hangout. I believe so. Which is why I backed out of that mission as soon as I could. Why the hell do I have to drive him there? What if he flips out in the car? He's been drinking a Guardiente since seven this morning. 
It'll be fine. Hernandez owes the boss a favour and he ain't about to cock it up. He's just, um, getting mentally prepared. Look, Mick, drive him down to where Zakharov's men hang out and push him out the door and drive off. Don't take too long over it, that's all. Drive Hernandez to the location shown on the map. Oh. Man, you know, just past me. Okay, calm down. Get back in the car. <laughs> Fucking hell. That would have been a hilarious way to have failed this mission. Just a copper, just get him. <laughs> what? No, oh, the car's on fire. Excuse me, Rosas, can I steal your. Oh, no, I've been arrested. got ran over. No, 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 no. He didn't nearly get ran over. He nearly got his legs crushed. <laughs> By a copper, nonetheless. A copper was the one who was doing it. Fuck me. I expected Zakharov's men to do that, not a bloody Bobby. Oh, sorry. Mm, I've already fucked my car up. I hope he doesn't jump out of the car again. Which he probably will do. Yeah, of course he will. No, you fucking copper. Get in the bloody car. Oh, how is the cop car already damaged? I mean, I guess they did ram into me. Give me your car. You can use any car for the mission. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the one thing that I haven't realized, but yeah, I'm thankful that's a thing. Because if that wasn't, you had to use that very specific car, I'd have been pissed. It would have been very annoying. Oh, you got a first person? Oh, and I just need to keep going forward to take a right. Any difference to in between the vehicles? Um, I mean, maybe. I'd say so, but I probably would say it's not a massive difference. Oh, it's it's Big Ben! Well, Big Ben isn't the power to the bell. Just in case you needed to be taught something.
I am going to kill them all for Senior Morris. Keep it down, mate. Right, well, uh, good luck. Let me in. I have come to kill you. He's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, oh Mad Mech leveled up. Oh, he's now a mugger? Nice. Pro home. Yeah, I suspect this game might not take me long to be. <laughs> I'd be surprised. I mean, I'm 35 minutes in. I'd be surprised if this takes me about four hours. You remember Maria? Lovely legs, terrific tits, and the best luck pussy this side of the river. Okay. <laughs> She's working for that fucker Zakharov. No, He's I don't want to kill her. Special talents behind a desk. I want you to encourage her to come back. She could tell us all their dirty little secrets. Okay, so we're going after a whore turned secretary turned whore again. Maria! You want me to sneak in? Oh, I've got a butcher's knife. Come back, you. That went well. <laughs> Fix that again. I tried to knife the guy. Missed. I don't remember the bloody assassinate button. Oh. It's nice that when you grab a guy in that mode and you attack, he goes stab. Instead of stab, fucking hell, dude, just stab the guy. Jesus Christ. All I want you to do. Have I actually got to fucking sneak in here? Well, that's going to be bloody annoying. Especially since I can't see round corners. Well, technically I can. No, 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 I know I was in hostage mode because I wanted to see if you could grab someone in hostage and kill them. That's what, that's what, that's what I wanted to test. The answer is no. Oh, Doesn't tell you how to get out of hostage mode, though, does it? You turn around. Oh my god. Give me a fucking gun, Jesus Christ. I can't look round corners as soon as I attempt to. Oh, please don't be a lot of stealth missions. I mean, I'll be able to fucking speedrun this game after I'm done with it at this rate. I just pick up his gun, you know? Who walks up and around, probably waits, then walks around again. When I see him, I'll make a move. Oh no, he comes back the same way. Then walk. Oh no, then he walks and waits for you.
Turn around, bud. Oh, damn it. Oh, and it doesn't alert everyone to your presence. Well, that's at least good. But again, why not just give me a fucking gun and just mass murder everyone? Oh my god. So I started there, I've walked up and around there, I've now got to go straight around, up and over. Health missions, aren't they great? Old games like this, health missions were always just so blur because the minimum thing you want is to just be able to hide at this cover. You know, maybe peek around or something, but yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay, see, here we go, I'll make a move for it. Is he going back this way? Why? Or was he... Unless there's two guys... I mean, I'm gonna get fucking caught, I know it. Oh no, it's a straight route forwards. Look at the minimap, dickhead. Fuck me. I didn't think he was gonna turn this way. Fucking Christ. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. I thought he was gonna go around back the other way and turn around. No, you can't pick up weapons. This is a complete, because... Like I say, they just disappear with their guns. So this is an entire fucking stealth mission. Of course, as soon as I get close, he walks away. I mean, I actually wonder if I could just run through this entire level. And just reach my objective, and if the mission just passes. Because I'm going to assume mission passes just get to her at the end of the level. Which, if that's the case... If I get caught and I die again, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna charge it. I'm not gonna last long because again, shotguns and assault rifles and stuff. But it would actually be pretty funny if I did make it. I mean, I am on the last stretch. How many guards are there then? There's what? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's really not many. But because this guy has a shotgun, you're in here. I won't make it.
Não, não precisa de ninguém. Mario! Unless it also said get out with her. Yeah, no, I was right. I probably could have just ran through that entire level. <laughs> just ducked and weaved where I needed to and then... Well, I mean, I would have skipped the first guy. I could have hid behind the second guy, ran past the third guy. Well done, girl. The fourth guy could have that again ran around. Come in handy. Now off you toddle down the club. Punters have been missing you. I had 100% accuracy. Well, I mean, it is kind of hard to miss. Um, but, you know. Flat. The Sakharov organization are coming for you very soon. They know we plan to con them out of the money. The boss thought it'd be a bit of a laugh to scam them. I thought it was insane. You're supposed to be the best in Duga. How the hell did they trace us? I pointed my gun at this man's head and he telephoned you. My men will see you soon. I will pass on your goodbyes to your friend. No, not that guy. Fucking cunt. Right, everyone outside now. Zakharov's men are on their way, and I ain't coming for tea and biscuits. Oh, no tea and bickies. Well, that's just mean. Why have a scrubber? You can... Oh, mines. Mine? Well, if they're gonna come in this way, if this is the only way they can come in... Yeah, if this is the only way they can come in, you place all the fucking mines here. <laughs> oh, it might be the guys who are setting the mines off, not the cars. That's slightly annoying. Oh no! You guys better run. Oh, yes. Blow them up. Or not. Oh, you're an idiot. And I think we won. Yep. All because I placed my mines the only place they can turn up. 
I mean, to be honest, if I'd have known that the mines wouldn't have blown each other up, I would have just gone right to the beginning and just planted them. One on one after the other. Later. Instead of one, two, three, sort of thing. He was a decent bloke. Generous bloke. And a rich bloke. What? What's he gonna buy with it? A coffin? Ah, Ron is now a mugger. Dave, you're not doing anything. Deals and wheels. Setting up time at a local market. Hey, Kev. The boss sent me to pick up the booze. Yep, you know, customs nearly got me this time, and I'm sure someone was tailing me some of the way too. I might have to start putting my prices up. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Also, it's nice how on the front cover is Zakharov. Not... You're in London, not, not all, all like five of them. Just Zakharov. How long was a playthrough? Usually four hours. What of this? I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. Oh my god, why did you turn around? Fuck me. Oh, if you double tap back, you turn around. I've not played Getaway 2, so I can't say. Yeah, so I can't say about Getaway 2. And Getaway 1, I only played two levels of. And the only reason why that game's annoying is because, well, the only way to heal, which the game doesn't ever teach you... <laughs> idiot. Yeah, the only way to heal in Getaway 1 is to walk up to a wall, lean on it, and then breathe. And then when your breathing sort of subsides, um, and you sort of become... And you're breathing normally, then you're back at full health. Whereas obviously if you're... <laughs> then obviously you've got like no health. Yeah, if Getaway 1 just had health packs or something, I would probably- Oh fuck me, oh fuck me. You turn around. Yeah, like I say, if it had health packs or something, or like mid-mission checkpoints, it would have been more fun. Potentially you still wouldn't have been as annoying. Or it potentially still would have been annoying. More runs, they're just fucking killing themselves. I mean, I'm thankful, but... So yeah, like, because, because this... Because this game is going to be very specifically, like, 30 seconds to a minute to two minutes per level, having to replay an entire level, like I say, that's like a minute long, isn't necessarily a ball ache, because... Like that level, you'll know who turns up and where and who's got what. Whereas you try playing an entire like five minute to ten minute level again in um, the getaway, it's again just more tedious than it is fun. But yeah, like I say, the, the main thing that I just don't like about it is, the, is that it just doesn't tell you how to heal. It doesn't. That's the only thing. If it told, if it tells you that, it probably would be a little bit better. But again, in the ring. a healing factor where you've got to lean on a wall is not good game I design. I had a money riding on that fight. If Smasher weren't already in hospital, I'd get you boys to beat seven shades of shit out of him. Now, Vladislav Sakharov thinks the sun shines out of Hard Man Henry's ass. He's putting him up against Danny Allen, and Danny won't win. I want you to see how hard Henry is when he's out of the ring. Zakharov will lose a lot of money if Henry's a no-show, so make sure his car don't arrive. 
Ram and destroy Hardman Henry's car. I don't want to know why they call him Hardman. Oh, Buckingham Palace. Why are we at Buckingham Palace? I'm fairly certain it's Buckingham. Beat the mission before he could even call his friends. Nice. Hard man Henry fails to arrive. So where is this sure thing of yours? If we lose our money, Zakharov, you lose something much more precious. Ooh. You can now attack another gang's HQ territory. If you win this mission, you'll have defeated this gang once and for all. Yay, Zakharov. And then I will own... Two third... Two... One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two sixths of London. So I was right saying one third. I didn't think the mass was going to add up. Yeah, at one third of London. And then obviously we'll go after... I'll probably just go after EC2 crew and work me way that way. Yeah, I'll go after them, do the defense, then go after steel, and then go after the Dalivar, and then obviously finally the water dragons. But I would assume I can go, or I can completely surround steel, <laughs> and then close in on him. Yeah, let's get rid of Zakharov. Waiting for a meet in Westminster. So Zakharov wants to discuss a truce, eh? Yeah, he called earlier. I don't trust him for a second, but he may be on the level. There ain't much of his gang left. Spit it out then, Zakharov. What do you want? I wanted to discuss our working together. But now I see you. I remember how much I fucking hate you. And I remember what a predictable cunt you are. Boys! Kill Zakharov. I'm here to kill you. Oh, Parliament of Crooks. Since we are in Westminster. I'm assuming if I just shoot him and kill him. Oh, he's running away? What a bitch. Oh no, not reinforcement. Or oh, they're over there being spun around. Do you really think I'm gonna go anywhere? Oh, there's another van.
What the bloody going on, my old man? Fucking hell. Why would he turn back up again? Let me just get in the car and chase him. You can't be driving in the bus line. Get out. I wonder if I just drive up next to him and my guys can just unload on him and kill him quicker. Uh, but then again, so can he. I mean, I thought running him over would have done enough damage, but you know, whatever. It's completely rinsed him. Well-known entrepreneur Vladislav Zakharov was amongst the casualties of a violent street battle, which... <laughs> him and his boys just weren't up yeah, to GG. the job. That's... Zakharov down. The London Ricochet and Bloodshed Beneath Big Ben. Zakharov organization decimated in suspected underworld takedown. Something. Uh, that's barely readable. If I spent enough time looking at it, I could probably do it. Oh, new character on a car. Yeah, looks like I could go straight after the Chinese. I'll do the two defends because then that will just leave to go after Steel. Outside, a local Who do you want me to go after after next then, Chris? Cliff the Chinese, if we could talk to the two defends, the and then Steel, or the EC2 crew. There, the new gangsters on the block. This needs to look like an accident, so... Shit, we're being fucked over! That cunt Thompson's a dead man. we got to get out. Steel, okay. Can you stand up for me, please? Go. Whatever. 
Wait a second. Which was the map here look like? Oh, it's the same map that I've already bloody well been in, that's what it is. Well, same map, different. Looking building, but the same. Last week, girl. You. So, I wonder if this manual actually. They didn't give me a choice. They said they'd cut my fingers off one by one. Please, please. Don't worry, Cliff. I prefer torching to torture. Not much consolation when you're burning alive, though. Never mind. Every fucking time I want to sneeze, I never do. <laughs> So what happens is, if they die in a mission, but you complete the mission, they gain no XP. But the XP that they do gain allows them to, if I reread it, um, you know, um, after a mission is complete, surviving members of your gang receive experience which boosts their combat ability and resistance to harm. If gangsters are killed during a mission, they will not receive any experience. So that's pretty much it. So these are the guys that I'll have forever. They don't get replaced. And because obviously I'm always playing as Mad Mick and killing a lot of people, getting the most XP, that means obviously he's essentially going to have more toughness and more defense, essentially. Which then obviously the more that I play as him, the more I can somewhat be on the front line. So yeah, leveling is important. Uh, yeah. Uh, gang, but... yeah, if I just focus on one guy, I should be fine. <sighs> Did you hear him scream when I pulled out that first tooth? Leave it out, Jolly. I don't want to hear about what you did to that poor sod, it turned my stomach. Oh, fucking peachy. Some of Andy Steele's men have just driven up. This is your fault, you tooth-pulling freak. Get back here now! <laughs> oh, so look.
Okay. You not throw grenades. Fuck off, cunt. Stand here. I'm so glad he fucking healed when he did. I thought I've accidentally enabled infinite health. Jolly takes care of the loose ends. Did someone call for the fucking tooth fairy? Ah! <laughs> Welcome now. Oh, I'm now an enforcer. No. I don't know why I'm saying I am. Yeah, Mick is. Okay. at one of Madame Selena's clubs. I'm getting the passports tomorrow for a fresh batch of Ukrainian girls. Our new club will be the hottest around, and Andy Steele's dive will be history. She's definitely a fucking pro. I agreed to send round some lads to escort her and the passports to the new gaff safe and sound. Beautiful work again, Fred. Put your tongue away, mate. And let's get moving. We'll be shafted if we lose the boss's favourite, madam. Take Madame Selena's car until she reaches the club. You mean the new gaff? That isn't me doing that, by the way. It's just that I'm letting go of the gas, which then essentially drops your miles per hour to nothing. Unless I have to rev the bloody engine again. Oh, fucking hell. 
Oh, car. <laughs> yeah, there's a lamppost there, mate. Learn a driver. Just okay. You want me to drive? Wait, like another learner and all, but you telling me you can't? London bus, no. Alright. Oh yeah, I win. I was wondering why he drove away. <laughs> I'm very grateful. In fact, why don't you try out the new merchandise? This time's on the house, of course. Why is the place called that? On all. Oh, angelic intervention or cashback? Um. Oh, I'll take some cash back, please. 20k. Following an unlucky card game. Dave needs your help. He just lost a lot of Morris's cash. If the boss finds out, he'll rip his balls off and feed them to his pigeons. Andy Steele's men made Kenny rig the game because he owed them. Now they've got the money. Please. I've got to get that money back or I'm as buggered as a pretty boy on Hampstead Heath. Bugger means fucked. I mean, there's a lot of translation for slang that I could give you. I say gaff is just building location, whatever. Bugger fucked. <laughs> okay. Random pedestrian getting run over. I hope they don't have guns. Mm. 
I mean, I kind of need to be him because he's the one with the grenades, but no, I'll be him. Fucking help. Okay, I guess I will play as the grenades. Although, to be honest, I'm glad that these grenades do explode on contact. No, it's full health. Um... Okay. Now he's... Okay. Just casually gets out of the vehicle and is through the wall. Never done it myself, but um, I always thought it was possible. Thanks guys, appreciate it. I mean, at least there's no friendly fire. I mean, personal fire, fire I don't care. Because again, I'm at range, so... Technically, I shouldn't take a lot of damage, but... No, I'm relatively on the last stretch. that I changed the grenades. <laughs> Otherwise that mission would have been tedious as all balls. Mm. Would anyone care to explain how my underground just grew to 150?
inside the gang hangout. Gobbler, have you been using my fucking special knife in the kitchen again? It's as blunt as you are, you fat twat. How am I meant to cut him with this? Dave, go and get me another blade from Razor Jimmy. <laughs> Sharpish. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of knives. Hey, Copper, you're gonna go after me, aren't you? I'm just gonna let the coppers deal with some of this. Or not. Get, get out of my fucking way. Okay, I'm done. Right, time for a bit of cocoa, man. No! Oral sex. I like these puns. A visit to an explosives expert. Ah, you'll be uh, Morris's boys. Come in, come in. Uh, Bill, turn me round. Fuck! You can't even kill people in this. Well, clearly not, no. What? Oh, don't mind, Bill. Me and him didn't see eye to eye after he banged me girl back in the day, but mm. that's in the past. Now he's the brawn to my brains. Andy Steele's men have got something I want. Here's the route they'll be taking. If you get me that van, I'll make up a bomb that will blow their warehouses sky high. Note to self, don't ever fuck a gangster's girl. Otherwise, I get my eyes bloody ripped out. Can I stop? No, oh, fucking course. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Carl.
I'm guessing no, that's not. I'm guessing this is not the way to do this. Take the first left, second left, and then the right. When they drive into the coppers, nothing happens. When I drive into the coppers, all of a sudden it kills him. Fucking hell. Great, great coppers. I'd imagine if I said if I'd have said hi to them, they would have come after me. Earlier today, an explosion tore through buildings belonging to businessman Andy Steele. <laughs> this is getting good. Shame you can't see it. So now she's bending over the sink, and he's getting his tool out. What tool? He may be a plumber doing some plumbing, but what tool? Like, is is something? in her that he's getting out or is he getting mini me out at the boss's office that fuckhead Melendi's gone and shafted me he promised me four decent girls and instead he's given them to that bleeding Andy Steele they're down at Max's hotel making the exchange now so get your ass over there. Deal with Melendi and take out any other fucker that gets in your way. Kill Melendi in so. Really, please.
No, wait a second. Oh, come on. I just... Given a lap dance before. No, oh, but you. This game in half time, nobody's expecting to be GTA level or anything. Well, that's the thing though, is. Don't get me wrong, this game is not as good as GTA, and I can definitely compare it because there are three GTA games on PSP two 3D ones, one top down one, obviously Chinatown Wars. Obviously, you've got episodes. No, you've got Liberty City Stories and. The other one. Yeah, Liberty City Stories and... What are the other places called? Vice City Stories, that one. Yeah, you've got Vice City Stories and Liberty City Stories and then Chinatown Wars. So comparatively, yes, this isn't as good, obviously, because you've got two fully-fledged GTA games on the PSP. Because I don't... I'm not going to compare this to Chinatown Wars, because like I say, Chinatown Wars is the top-down isometric version. But, for the two 3D ones, I mean, again, I've never played them, I've, I've got them, but I've never played them. I wouldn't put this on the same level, because story-wise, it's not going to be as fleshed out. And because the levels are only two to three minutes a pop, and they are self-contained things, um, just that overall isn't going to make it better or worse. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, if anyone has a PSP... Would I recommend this? I mean, yeah. Would I have recommended this when it would have come out? Probably not. Inside the gang hangout. Probably not. For for I mean, depending on how much it would have released for, I probably maybe would have recommended this at around the twenty-five to thirty pound mark when this was brand new. That? Your new girlfriend. Andy Steele's men have got Susie. That's their way of letting me know. Well, she ain't much use to them. She don't know nothing. Or does she? Well, I might have told her a few things. Pillow talk after a shake, you know. Naughty, naughty. You're the poster child for dumb cunts anonymous, ain't ya? Stay here in case they call. I'll check out the shop of theirs. They sometimes take people there. Yeah, like I say, it's not a bad game. I mean, I'm not hating it. Again, compared to the Getaway 1 so far, I mean, I've gotten this far. So it's clearly not that bad, you know. No, it's just a right, right, and a right. But I'm guessing you've. Ooh, I'm guessing you've never played this one, and you only have played the getaway, and you just knew about this, or have you played this? I mean, I would assume not. Crikey, it's a learner driver. Never played really. Oh, and you want me to play me? You want me to suffer playing a bad game for you? I see how it is. You never knew about this game? No. Or if it. Mm, well. Oh my god, game. Oh my god! Oh my god. This is bullshit.
No! No, get away from me. Game saying no more for me to buy. Oh. Well, you're an asshole. I mean, to be honest, this isn't that bad. Like I say, genuinely. Not that bad. Like I say, it's not amazing by any stretch of the imagination, but... I will eventually one day play the getaway though. I, I will give it the old college try. And like I say, I'm aware of a cheat code that does give me more health. Like, I am aware of one. So if I have to enable it just to play the game, it doesn't give you infinite health, it just gives you more health. So if it is, if there is one and it does work, I will probably have to resort to using it. Which I mean I'm fine with anyway. Don't fucking touch me. I can't believe you let them take me. Susie! I could give her back if you want. Oh, accurate 60, 69%. Nice. Mum. Okay. We're not going to do mum's the word, are we? Down at the gang hangout. As you know, my dear old mum is staying with oh. me for a few days. How old are you? She wants to go out and do some shopping. One of the lads is going to drive her, but I want you to escort them. If anything happens to her, they'll still be talking about what I did to you 20 fucking years from now. Okay. Take the boss's mum on a shopping trip. And yes, that is how you actually... Spell and pronounce it. It's mom, not mom. With your bags, which one? The one under your eyes or your cunt bags? We may have lost him.
Yeah, but whose fault was that? Mine or the sodding drivers? Just because he couldn't go round the side of a van. because the twat driver couldn't drive around a van. I mean, then again, I should have also just hopped out and started shooting, but... Wasn't really expecting the AI to just... Okay, Michael. Was that the end of the mission? Fuck me. God damn it. If I'd have killed the two guys with guns first, I probably would have done it fine. Pair of mules or angelic intervention. Kidnap and collect. Oh, collect. Yeah, gangster granny. I know, right? Inside a gang safe house. Whoops! That's one more gangster granny in London than I saw in the entirety of Watch Dogs Legion. The word is that the Turkish Mafia are gonna kill our boy Ron for his involvement in the Snook Hall incident. Those psycho angel bastards are already in town to do the hit. But Jolly reckons we can pin it on Andy Steele and get Ron out of the shit at the same time. 
The boys have been faking up three different pieces of evidence and you need to pick them up. Don't hang about though, or Ron will be in trouble. Bom bom bom. If I could go straight forwards, which I can't, which means I will get him first. Thanks, man. Oh, no, the roses. turning This car has no health. Please don't touch me. Thank you. Okay, nice mission. Seems our employer has changed his plans. We have a new target. The Andy Steele Associates. I'm sure we'll be back here soon. Oh, I really want to Well. Black Van Man. White Van Man, but whatever. The boss's office. You've heard of Terry the Fence, right? He's the dealer for Andy Steele's stolen cars. Andy Steele's men have been fucking up the cars. If we can pass a little test, Terry will work with us from now on. Go and see him. Right, if you can steal me five black vans in five minutes, I'll start dealing with you. Deliver them to my underground car park, okay? I'll do that. Steal five vans in five minutes. Maths, one a minute. I'll say for every second underneath for a van, I'm that on top.
Please don't drive. Saves me some time. I've got an entire minute free to get three vans in four minutes. That's a minute twenty a pop. Never mind. There's another one. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Now I've got to get two vans in four minutes. <laughs> Essentially. Nice deliveries, dickhead. Idiot. Right there. If he turns this way, then that be I've just parked it here. I mean, two minutes to spare. So since I'll be taking out steel in a moment, who do you want me to go after next? EC2, the, the wagons, or the collision of Carl Brothers, whoever the hell. Bolivar Brothers. Dragons. Of course, you want me to go after the Chinese. Andy Steel has been for midrift, for smile, God, for some stuck-up Surrey girls by all accounts. Sorry. Albert's no. been picking the girls up from the airport, and after a bit of arm twisting and a few notes, he told me the route he takes. I want you to hijack the car and bring the girls back here. We can use the money from the drugs to reclaim some turf from Andy Steel. Kidnap the girls, okay. I'm gonna 
guess that was actually worth it, dealing all that damage. Hey, let's lock on to the car. Not the two fuckers getting out of the car, but the car. What do you want me to do? Get in the fucking car. you in the nice shiny car. Come here. I'm fucking about to take this left and take the right. Nice. Nice that they spawn an enemy probably like 60 miles an hour, two feet behind you. <laughs> Easy. some laxatives and start shitting. I'll get the drugs out some other way and it won't be pleasant, I promise you. Nice. Very nice. Swallowing the drugs. And being forced to shit them out. A gun Lovely. converter's flat. We've got together a load of air pistols and I want you to take them to Zoe Forbes for conversion. She's expecting you, so put him in the car and head over there.
And then we can say rip to steal. Nice. And that mission. And now I assume we go after Steel. Which is then one off of London. In Zoe Forbes' flat. My gun's got a big barrel. Do you want to take a look? No. Not unless you want it bored out, sunshine. Oh! In bank burial, and then we'll meet with them. Oh no, that's for the Zolivar. Or bin bag burial. Oh, here it is. At Andy Steele's bachelor pad. Andy Steele's been seeing Gobbler's little sister. To think that nutcase has had his hands on her. He's crossed the fucking line. Gobbler has found out that Steele's taking her to Covent Garden tonight. You're going too. His boys are laying back to give him some privacy, so take them out first. Please don't be a stuck mission. Found a secret sign holder. These sign holders are scattered throughout the city. Have fun exploring. Collect all 32 twin medals in free drive. Yeah. Run away.
Yeah, I wonder if this is the kill. No! Because they were still all the way on the other, on the other fucking side, god damn it. Rankers. When you expect them to follow you, not just... They don't really run. Oh, I missed the steel. Okay. okay. Calm the Jesus hell down. So kissable now, is he, my oh, dear? Lovely. And he may have had a head for business, but it turns out he had a body for bullets. Nice. Oh, I got 108 XP. 
He's now level 6 as an executioner. Nice. Yeah, exactly. He's chopped his fuck. She, he's come out, she's wondering what's going on. Chop, he chops his head off and then turns it up and goes, There you go. You wanted to date him, didn't you? A pimp's lair. One of my young men has found out an interesting piece of news concerning the water dragon triad. Spit it out then. Usual fee. Some of the gang are having dinner at a nearby restaurant. Perhaps you can catch them unawares as they leave. Right, here's the address. Take some boys and wipe those fuckers out. If that... Oh, going to kill all of the water dragon tired. Asian man. The water dragons. Oh, of course he has a fucking meat cleaver. Again, why are you locking off the fucking car? Oh, he gets to my wall, isn't it? But... Could you not? Fireworks again tonight. Even though Bonfire announced two days ago. Oh no, the Rosses. in the kill. I mean, it helps. Obviously, playing as the same one going. Later, as the pimp is recruiting. Even though I still take a crap ton of damage because everyone's firing at me. But come on, wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm? I've got food and drink, and some friends who'd really like to meet you. I don't give a fuck if he was right. He's got it coming. From Yang, how dare you intrude on our territory? We will teach you. A how dare you intrude on our territory? No, I can't do a Chinese accent, so I'm never going to bother. <laughs> I'm going to stop there before it gets even worse. Oh. That's all I can do, really. A local corner shop. Giorgio just called. Lenny Kai, one of the Water Dragon Triad, just trashed his shop. That's the fourth place under our protection he's wrecked. 
He's making us look like a right bunch of cunts. I want you to get out there, find him, and bring him here to me. Alive. This is the place. Nervous Frisk tipped us off. The Kai's visiting a bloke in there. We grab him when he comes out. Stop the car and grab Lenny going. Don't run. Walking. Now you're just being a dick. One is this PSP. Yep. How would the police even know to come after us? Please. Oh, of course, I'm gonna lose the police. You want me to lose the police? Fine, I can do that. I'm gonna lick you once for every item you damaged in those shots. If you're still alive at the end, you can go. But trust me, you won't be. A secluded London alley. Wu of the Water Dragon Triad has slashed no. Lena. That makes three of our girls this week. Oh, not so nice. No fucker's gonna pay for them now. That blade happy little prick is ruining our business. And the girls ain't too pleased either. 
Track him down and cut him up a bit. I want him left alive. For now. I'll sneak through the hotel grounds and find Wu. Why? Why sneak? Oh, this is going to be annoying. How big is this location? Barely. Again, this could be another one of those scenarios where I can just run through it, probably find the guy, and then the mission will be complete. No better than this. You're a car mechanic, right? Um, hello. Did you turn around? Run! Never mind. I got fucking stuck on the shitting geometry. And that was bullshit anyway, he did turn around, but no. I got caught on the pond, of all fucking things. Nice for him to just dodge my knife swings, he just... You will probably walk forwards and then just turn around. Or not. Could you crouch? No is the answer. Oh, 
No, I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh, damn it. Stealth missions. This may only be the second one, but I already fucking hate them. I mean, stealth missions in most games are terrible anyway. Because, obviously, games that don't have stealth built in, and it's... Oh, yeah, can you do this? Oh, no. Your game's shit, and it doesn't work. So glad I knifed him. Yeah, the opportunity for stealth to stab someone in the back. You have to be right there behind them. That worked. Well, I mean, of course it would have worked. The clear condition would have just been get him. So grab him or stab him, and that's it. Because this game is old, specifically, and obviously on PSP, the clear conditions, as long as you do the clear condition, that will always work. So, the clear condition for that is just get to him, and it'll either be stab him like I did, or grab him, and that's it. So again, if I could just run through all that and dodge all the bullets, and just hit him once or grab him, that'd be the entire mission done. I think the Walter Dragon Triad are behind this. I want you to go down to that club they use and have a poke around. If Voulage is there, we'll tip off the Albanian gang. They'll rip the place apart and we can pick up the pieces. And some new territory. Get to Voulage without being seen. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I should have done the fucking Chinese earlier, if it's just going to be bloody stealth missions. Fuck me. No, go down. Fuck me. Okay, so it doesn't matter.
why would you program a guy to just and then turn in the most indirect fucking way Please don't. Thank you. I'll oh, hear my laser. Just a poke. Yep, yeah, just a poke. All I have to do is take out like five guys, six guys. Which I don't normally do until Friday nights. How is the battery fucking dead? Oh, how? I've only had it on for 2 hours and 40 minutes. I need to buy a bloody battery for this. It's going to completely have shut everything down. I'm going to have to do that mission again, aren't I? No, it hasn't. And there we go. Oh, hello. Well, that's one way to die. No, it didn't save. Um, because the battery is dead, and because I plugged in the uh, power supply, or the charger, it would have had just enough charge in it to remember. Well, it would have had just enough charge in it to not completely shut it down. Yeah, it's only been going for 2 hours and 40 minutes and it's dead. And I fully charged it before I started today. Yeah, I need to get a new fucking battery. Only problem is, I would assume Amazon, people on Amazon or eBay a hack of them, but... Apparently, Yang of the Water Dragon Triad keeps some of his redis stashed in an electronic piggy bank. Let's see if you can help us smash it open, eh? What the fuck? Shit! They've tracked the IP address! Time to bust a move! The video game. Tree. Round up that useless little toe rag later. But first, get out there and do over the water dragon triad when they show up. I don't want this fuck up getting out. This is the battery that I've even got plugged in. A Sony one or not. No, I don't think it is. I think even this is a fucking replacement one. Which, I mean, I guess is the only problem with lithium-ion batteries. They are terrible, but... This is where they're just going to get in a rhythm to just annihilate me. Because my teammates don't fucking do shit.
Yeah, I'll have to buy a bloody new battery. Who's got grenades? You do. Why do they get grenades but we fucking don't? Because grenades annihilate you. Why do we get baseball bats? And also, as soon as you hit them like two or three times, they get in a rhythm of you hit them, they block, then they hit you. You try and hit them, they block, and then they just hit you. But you block, they hit you, you try and hit them, they block immediately. I need the guy with the fucking grenade. Which is you. No, it isn't. You shit. We've lost a guy. Again. Fuck off with the grenades! If I see them at the other end of the street, I'm charging that bastard down with the grenades. I am. I'm just charging him down. Grenades, of course, there is. Okay. Again, we have guns. Why don't you give us guns? tries to lay low. Rio does look nice this time of year. But I don't reckon you're gonna make that flight. Not with two broken legs anyway. Back to a meat cleaver grenade flight, yep.
I mean, if it was Batman, a van load of then yeah. Cargo. Another load of poor fucks heading for the sweatshop. Shit! The water dragon triad are following us. What are they after? They must know we've got a van full of illegals. If we crash with this lot, the law will catch us red-handed. Try and lose them. Who's the water dragon triad's call and get the illegal immigrants to a safe house? Illegal immigrants? That might lose them. No, it won't. He's directly fucking behind me. Yeah, considering they bust the van up, I kind of can't go any faster. Of course.
Oh, this man has no health. Oops. Unfortunately. Imagine they're turning up with a van on fire. Alright, in the back there. Blimey. I've been trying to save you lot and you've been having a bloody orgy. Well, you know. It would have been funny if it did turn around and they were actually just balls deep in each other. Hyde Park. The Water Dragon Gang is losing its grip on the Hyde Park area. The local crims are getting restless. One major fuck up for the Water Dragons and there could be a revolt. Here's our chance. There's a street race round the park every Friday night. A water dragon man nearly always wins. It's a point of honor for them. We need to make sure their driver loses, and loses badly. It'll send out the signal that the water dragon triad is finished in Hyde Park, and we can move in. How's your driving? How's the physics? And then we can go after whoever the hell he is, because he's never been name dropped, I don't think. Whoa, nice shirt. Would have been better if you wore it the other way around, to be honest. Why is the camera so low? No. Thanks game, appreciate it. Would have been nice to have told me where to have gone, but whatever. Oh, that was the fucking finish line. <laughs> I go left because, well, I either, I either slam into a wall or I just take a 50-50 chance of going left or right. I thought it was right and that was the bloody finish line. Oh shit. I mean, then again, the indicator might have told me to have gone right, but it wouldn't have. It doesn't even know where the um, next checkpoint is. Again, anytime you do races, you always show both checkpoints. Or the one you're going to and the one next. Oh no, it's the Rosses. Thanks. I mean, actually, that would be nice because you can just push me forwards. Make me go faster. I'm 
actually, yes, I know, right. But at least if I slow down, the cops will slow down. Hopefully they'll crash into the other guys, which will slow them down. No, no. Fucking almost. <laughs> that bloody cop. Fucking hell. I mean, it's only a race. I can redo a race a few times. I'm not bothered. Now to go after Chinese man. Yang's office. Him. He's still not named in the book. Just when I thought we had that water dragon rat Yang cornered, I find out he's been on the blower to his family back home begging for help. And they're gonna give it to him. Yang's little brother's coming over with reinforcements and they ain't gonna mess about. But I like to think of this as an opportunity. We'll all be there to roll out the red carpet when they arrive. Give them a welcome they won't forget. Oh, nice, nice turn there. Oh, let's get out of the way. Even better. Just have two guys in a fucking doorway. Oh, you. I wonder if you could even kill him at that point anyway. Like if I if I just drove straight over to where he's supposed to go, blocked it, and then just got out of the car and then just shot him. I mean I don't really want to find out because I don't want to drive this shit again. But it might be worth doing it because I can skip everything else potentially.
No longer going to do it now. I mean, I need to take another one. Now we have to run through all of this. Come on, health. Or is that it? Am I so low at this point? Oh, God. This might be a bit of a pain. But I guess we do only have one more location to run through.
Because he can't throw grenades that far. He can't. Cheat the system, slightly. But that's Yang taken care of. I now own four out of six territories. We'll slice them and dice them and ship them back to Hong Kong in a box. A proper Chinese takeaway. The water dragon triad has finally lost its grip on London. Oh, he's almost level seven. So who next in Chris? City Tribune, Mayhem in Mayfair, Triad Gang butchered him and raided by all night into five or six. Yeah, we've got the Talwa and the EC2 crew. Who do you want? Not that it really matters at this point. Oof. Hmm. Even though it doesn't really matter because I have to do two defense anyway. Because that won't progress anything with a tile wall. By a new rival. My boss, Mr. Rehman, has convinced each of your gangs that the other is to blame for your kidnapping. They'll tear each other to pieces, getting their revenge. So, that just leaves a couple of loose ends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Um, I can't do the other one until tomorrow, because I had problems with Steam last night, and it's postponed my transfer till tomorrow 8 a.m. tomorrow so I'll do it as soon as I get up I will you don't like me because Steam's been a pain in the ass for me but neither of us wants to die today so let's get out no, of here no you said seventh you said seventh I'm way ahead of you you said seventh Hey man. You do. If you mean the one in Discord, I, I'm blind and I didn't fully read it, then that'd be my fault. But no, the... Oh, that works. Oh, well, I can. I mean, it's not like it matters, he still gets it, right? What's two days anyway? Oh, this is why I don't like melee missions. I'm not without a gang anyway.
I ever played the Godfather on PS2. Nope. Oh, please don't keep moving forward. Oh, Yeah, it's actually the tourist, so it's my fault. Like I said, the horizon, no, I haven't. But is God, isn't Godfather also one? Okay. If you mean the original Godfather, then no. I know Go For All the Two is on PS3 and 360, right? I want to say one is also on Xbox 360, but I wouldn't know. Get me out of there. Please punch him. Thank you. Oh, and he's just fucked off. plans failed but don't worry I'll look out for you especially next time we fuck your boys over oh, you're nice. a quiet London storage yard some people feed bodies to pigs, some dissolve them in acid, and some chuck them in the river and hope they don't wash up. But I'm a traditionalist. I prefer a good old-fashioned burial. Why the two bags? I thought it was just one bloke. Yeah, well, Jolly got a bit over-enthusiastic and cut him in half. Nice. Let's hope the traffic's... What are some of the tell what brothers doing on our patch? They're after us. Lose them. We can't get involved with the two part right? stiff in the well, obviously better than bloody watchdogs. At least it's not. Oh, bloody hell. They've gone and done it, haven't they? Oh, we'll take you out. It's London. Of course it's London. Whereas this, I would assume they just hired people and said, oh, talk. Just speak the lines. You're going to be terrible at it, but we don't really need to be great at it either. Hey coppers, you're gonna come after me, aren't you? Can't I just jump out the car and shoot them? Nope, because I've only got knuckle busters. And I can't get back in the car because... I left the car for too long. The car was on the fucking behind me, stupid fuck. I left the car for too long. 
There's not much gear in them. I mean, I should have just restarted anyway because the bloody cops were here down. Getting good scrub. No, there was no getting good. The cops on my tail. I, I had no chance in health. Because the AI rubber band like crazy in this. But because the cops were on my tail and I'm not supposed to lose them, it would have been impossible to have gotten them off. Well, not impossible, but it would have just been unfun getting them off. Oh, I'm not going to be able to lose them either. Nice camera. Angle. Well, this isn't really going to help either. Like I said, they're just going to fucking rob a van. Well, all that. <laughs> Again, we're going to dump a body and they only give us knuckle dusters. Great fucking gang, aren't we? Just in case you get followed, here's a gun. No, here's some knuckle dusters. Thanks. Well done, idiot. Oh, and he, oh, he, oh, he drove straight! Moron, never mind, he rubber banded straight back to me. He fucks off, goes straight, I turn right and he just 180s comes straight after me again. I... Video games. Guarantee you as soon as they fire a shot, the cops come after me. Oh yeah, and they also have like infinite max, so... Thanks for driving into me, you fucking pedestrian. How old is this game? 2006. On the PSP. <sighs> body am I gonna hide? Some random guy. Don't ask about the story. There really isn't one. Because I don't fucking know. I mean, there is a story, but there really isn't. Just some guy. Yeah, I'm supposed to lose them, by the way. Down to they're just 180, or are they stuck? Nope. Yep. Reset them, of course. Why not? No, why would you drive into me?
Fuck for that. Again, I'll still take them over stealth missions. <laughs> so, this is the gangster I life carrying bags of body parts for a field full of cow shit in the dark. Funny they don't put this in the fucking brochure. Oh, he's now most wanted. Nice. Um, go on then, I'll go after the town wall. May as well. Down at the new nightclub. Octavian's got the Tawar brothers working the door and the floor at his new club. I thought he promised us that gig. As well as getting all the action on supplying party bills, we get to bust up some rich tossers. That's why we're going down there now, to show Octavian that the Tawar brothers ain't up to the job. Yeah, and the Tawar brothers also look like those guys you always grew up with at school who thought they were hard, but as soon as you actually start doing shit with them, they just go. I've got my mates with me. That's what they look like. Bitches. That's the word I'm looking for. Bitches. Every fucking time. Okay, two random women dancing outside the nightclub. He's got a fucking shotgun. Sure. Give us melee weapons and have a guy at the fucking doorway with a shotgun. We've got to charge him down. That sounds like a good idea. Boss is another guy with a fucking shotgun. Hello, time to break up the party. Sorry. How the fuck have I missed anyone? Oh.
Still don't know why those two guys were shotguns. Right. You can stop playing that tuneless shit for starters. Oh, I'm assuming level 7 is the max. From Tal Wars, you fucking lost it, man. We'll be coming for you. Start learning. Also, grammar. It's F O R Y O U. Don't blame me. You'd think they teach people English these days, but, you know. Finally found out how Rashid of the Tower Brothers is able to sell his ecstasy so cheap. The cunt's been making it. I've tracked down a dodgy chemist and he's setting up a lab. We're gonna manufacture our own pills and take over the market. Rashid is expecting a delivery of chemicals tomorrow. I want you to hijack the van so we can beat him at his own game. Mm. Remember, remember the 7th of November. And when it says follow the van, it means take it down. Could you get in? That, that robot could make life difficult for me. Okay. What would it block? I mean, yes, it blocked the road. Didn't do shit about the pavement. Oh no, another one. Yeah, because that's how momentum works. You just slam into the back of the car. And you go from 60 to 0 almost immediately. Let me guess. The police can't know we're here. No, it won't be that hard. I can fucking shoot them. It's time for a bit of quality control. All ready to defend me. I'm thinking about going straight. I love the money and the respect, but I'm tired of looking over my shoulder all the time. No, no, that sounds naff. <clears throat> Morris, I've been thinking. 
What? Stop having a wank and get out here. Some of the Tower brothers have just grabbed Benny, right in front of Gabriella. She said they've taken him to their office nearby. Go and get him. Why don't you just get in? No, oh, I can do it this way. Oh, ice cream van. No, the ice cream van's already destroyed, but... No... I wanted to get away in the ice cream van. have served up some Mr. Whippies back at the hideout. Or some 99s. With a flake and the um, jam coolie thing, wherever the hell it is, sauce. Of course. Maybe, maybe give out some twisters. Here's Ooh. good news. Thank you for letting me know Benny is okay. Lucky for him, he runs as fast as he makes love. Please. I'm thinking about leaving. Oh, fucking forget it. I'll have a wank instead. As long as you clean up after yourself. in a quiet back street. Gabriella called. She was giving teardrop head when they got jumped by some of those tower cunts. I mean, never been in this situation, but I'm going to automatically assume when I do, I'm not going to go. <laughs> they only went and grabbed teardrop That's what it will look more like. like. Uh. We're gonna go over to their scrapyard, kill every motherfucker there, and be home in time for tea. Just, what do you do? Get off! No! Back, demon! Back! Oh, shotgun. I don't fucking want a shotgun. Oh, go on then, give me, give me the arse crack guy. Probably level him up. Yeah. 
turn away from that wall. No? In before it does. If you shoot a gas canister, it will cause an explosion that will hurt anyone nearby. Really? To be honest, I can't free aim, I don't think. That's what I was waiting for before. Find him around a corner, why don't you? He permanently has that amount of health. I think I'm gonna have to switch him out in a minute. to do was get blown. Go to one of your owned strip clubs and do it there. We're Fox too night. fucking late. Teardrop is ten goods and is well past his expiry date. So just make jokes about your dead friend, sure. Oh, dog's dinner. A win at the dog track. Whoa. How the fuck was I supposed to know it was Canna Sarkler's dog? It's not like he had a sign round his neck with his fucking name on it. He'll send his Yakuza boys round and I'll have a sword up the shitter before you can say sayonara. Drive them up round to one of the Tellwell brothers' gaffs and boot it out the door. Let them worry about it. Also, Rip Doggo. I'm not going to mint me.
kill him. I've only got a fucking pistol. Run away! Fucking car! Apparently, my Greyhound has been seen outside one of your properties. Some of my sons will be paying you a visit. Secluded street corner. I reckon this will interest you. The Talva Brothers gang is setting up to Marceline on your monopoly and counterfeit money. Oh no. They are buying the gear of Freddy the Forger. The deal's already been done. For the right price, I'll tell you where it's going down. Get over there now, lads. I want that hardware totally fucking knackered before they get it out of the garage. Yes, my blazer. Bork. Doggo saves the day. Thanks, Copper, you fucking asshole. You can take that torch and shove it up your ass. Take it. Don't worry, boss. <laughs> the Tower Brothers cash cow ain't going to be printing much now we've given it a roasting. <laughs> a gang warehouse in the middle of nowhere. It's your lucky day, mate. The boss has asked me to return you to your friends. Drop off the car and make sure he gets a four-star funeral. Take the prisoner in the car to the town war brother's place. And then burn it, I assume. voice acting.
Oh no, I'm gonna be fucking scripted no matter what. How is my car all the way back here? Oh, they probably fucking thingy did not they? Smashed right into it. Now we kill the Talwar brothers, and then Talwar all I've got left is EC2 or whatever the fuck they're called. Word is that the Talwar brothers boss Rashid has lost so much turf he's doing a runner. He's loading what's left of his ill-gotten gains into the armored van from that bank job before legging it to his cousins in Nottingham. <laughs> Let's finish him off before he gets away. Convenient. Who knows? Maybe we'll pick up some nice gear into the Convenient. market. Has nothing to do with me, but you know. Of all the fucking places, why here? Why not fucking Leicester? Leicester is the bloody crime gang place. Liverpool, Liverpool, sorry, not Leicester. Liverpool. And I know, I only know that because of Tom. We all know he's the head of the Liverpoolian mob. You know. Yes, Liver Hall with the Liver building. Fuck off! your fault. Oh, 
That's one down. I assume one more to go. Now they're dead, I'm really starting to oh. warm to Rashid and the Tawar brothers. I mean, I did only kill one of them, but, you know. Youth gangs, reign of terror ends, infamous Talmud brothers gang massacred in broad daylight. Did we kill the brothers, though? Well, there's only one more place to do. EC2 crew. And then I'm done. The Globe Road Gang earlier. Apparently, the EC2 crew Four. kidnapped the head of the Globe Road Gang yesterday. They're asking for a ton of money before they'll give her back. <coughs> the exchange is set for later today. I want you to stop the EC2 crew's car before they get there. Grab the girl and take her to our nearest safe house. When the EC2 crew miss the exchange, the slappers will think their mate's Minspeed, or that it's a scam. And hopefully they'll go mental. I can do that. Oh, it's a black guy. Damn, they're getting away. What are you? This car can't exactly go from no oh, hello. Oh, get out of my way. This car can't exactly go north to 60 in like two seconds. It also has bad handling. Especially when the AI's handling is just 100%. you make that a complete fucking U-turn? No, don't get in the body car. Yeah, I know. I must not lead them to the safe house. I'll just park up and kill them, who cares? It's not like there's an actual fail condition if they do turn up in before that actually this mission does. Oh, did I lose the police? Nice. Or am I gonna get a fail condition? Oh no, I win. Lose the police and for that half a fucking second where the police lost me. Take it. I mean, I would have just shot them anyway. I wouldn't have been bothered either way. The EC2 crew are in trouble with the Globe Road gang. You didn't show up. You can't prove she's still alive, and I ain't believing some bullshit kidnap story. The time for talk is over. Oh, she's doing the gangster thing? Blah, blah. 
You from Easy Two Crew. You disrespected me on my turf. You better get ready for some serious shit. An Italian arrival. Senior Pozzi of the Naples Mafia is coming to town as a guest of the EC2 crew. The Mafia wants to muscle in on the London trade, and they reckon Grant of the EC2 crew will be a useful ally. It could become very difficult for the EC2 crew if the senior stay is less than agreeable. Nail Pozzi before he reaches them. Then we'll plant the body somewhere they can't miss it. Well, I'm glad I nicked them. Corner of the back of his car. Of course, that doesn't do major damage. Why? Why was I expecting that to do a lot of damage? Calls on bloody father. Also, why would taking out a don of a mafia group be the ones to then hate the EC2 crew, not us? Hope the EC2 crew don't own any horses, because those mafia boys are not happy. jury and execution I am the law the day of the trial he's just leaving now I can't believe that cunt grant of the EC2 crew has got Delroy Levy to give evidence against the boss oh no even a fucking victim ain't saying nothing Jolly must have shut him up good and proper nice don't worry though Levy won't reach the courtroom when his car comes past, we're gonna make sure he's involved in a tragic accident. Papa, you made me kill someone. I'll turn. That's almost a perfect run.
I don't know what the hell's going on. But something happened. Find the defendant not guilty. Well. A oh, Sapphire, so good. Oh, come on, that's a bit of a stretch for a pun, don't you think? I know it's already had two good puns so far. That one, oh, God. Sapphire, oh, so good. I just nicked no, sorry, this necklace Sapphire, off one of so the good. Two crew, and Fuck I need to no. lay low for a bit. <laughs> Can you take it round to Squinty Pete for me? He said he'd have a look. I suppose so. When I finish me tea. So far, so good. Jesus Christ. And as a stretch. At least the other one earlier on, that was... Arsehole something. At least that one was good and made sense. I don't really remember it, but... Oh, a page 3 girl in a sauna? Yeah, well, page 3 doesn't exist anymore, I'm afraid. And for any non-English people out there, page 3. We have a newspaper called The Sun. And we would have page 3, so obviously, pretty much the first page you bloody well open the uh, newspaper to, would contain a... Half naked mother. Mm, so interesting. I'm getting the job. Oh. Okay. It would. And then, you know, modern day happened. Everyone said, oh, I assume it was women mostly who said, oh, they shouldn't do this. It's. It, this is not how women are, or whatever, some bullshit. Same thing, basically, it happened roughly around the same time as probably the Playboy thing as well, where they shut that down and stopped doing nudity. And it's like, why? They're not being forced to do this. If they want to get paid to get their titties out, their magnificently large titties out, and get paid for it, who fucking cares, why not? Just because you look like a sack of shit that I dropped on the side of the road, doesn't mean you get to say how these women live their lives. They want to get paid to show their titties and let them. You know? I'm an equal opportunist. If a woman can do it, why not a man? Only problem is men can't get their Squinty dicks out. Squinty was so. willing to pay good money for that necklace. What are you keeping it for? Your imaginary girlfriend? No, Lefty Lucy. Can you hear me in there? Oh, Getting ahead. Hopefully that's someone getting head. Or getting a head. A theft at a jewelry shop. Nervous Fritz just called from the snooker hall. The EC2 crew are doing over a jeweler's. The deaf cunt didn't hear which one, but he did hear where they've stashed their switch cars. Get over there and make sure that when they turn up, there's nothing left but a pile of fucking scrap. We've almost beaten this. Four hours in. Hey, no, that wasn't my fault. Oh, of course you're gonna drive after me. He drove into me, fuck you. Cops. The cops in this game really have it out for me, and I don't know why.
Oh my god. My screen just fucking cut to black. Thanks. That's why I look down. Thanks. Thank you very fucking much. I'd have had that as well. If I just ran forwards. Perfect timing to have the bloody screen cut to black. Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. Not in a million years would they ever be able to do that. Okay, so if all of you could find each other and not me, that'd be lovely. Please don't tell me you have grenades. Oh, thanks, Copper. You may have just killed the guy who has grenades. You may have just saved my fucking bacon. And of course, everyone's going after me. Fucking. Oh, I mean, was. Fucking lucky because I swear to god that guy had a grenade. Shout outs to the police for doing their job and not just screwing me over. Shit! The guys are trash! We're fucked! An enemy stronghold. Word is that Alphonse Williams is the one tipping off the old bill about our deliveries. 
The boss is as sore as a virgin after a gangbang. He wants Williams's head. Get inside and kill Williams. I'll drive around until you come out. No, oh, please don't abuse stealth mission. Please, just give me a gun to charge my way in and shoot everyone in the face. And that's gonna be a fucking stealth mission, isn't it? Big is this place? Um, single corridors, open place, and then it's him. Oh, not that bad. I'm glad he has tunnel vision. It would really be nice if you could lock on with melee weapons. I fucking hate these stealth missions, they're so fucking annoying. Because the guys always stand in stupid positions sometimes and it's just... Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna get caught either way.
That could have gone terrible. What the fuck did you bring that for, Ron? There are easier ways to get a blowjob. Yeah, like from your mum. You said the boss wanted his head. Last two missions and I'm done. In the boss's office. Thanks, Some of you need to get round to the twins' place now. Nervous Fritz says that the EC2 crew knows they supply our weapons. If they get wiped out, we'll be up shit creek. We're low on ammo and I need those fucking guns we ordered. Don't let the EC2 crew get near their front door. I'll barbecue your bollocks if you cock this up. You hear me? All the fucking series are gonna blow up my mind. Thanks. A special offer for one day only. Buy one, get one free. Lost. 
information potentially, unless there's a super we Outside an EC2 crew warehouse. The twins heard that the EC2 crew put in a massive gun order recently. I sent some of the lads round to check it out. I told him just to keep an eye on the place, but the stupid twats didn't listen. I want you to sneak in and rescue those tossers while Mason Grant and his boys are busy celebrating their acquisitions. Information. How far is this? Oh my god. Fucking maze. Probably. You know when you press the fucking square button to put them into crouch mode, but it doesn't fucking work because it takes about 10 years for the game to go. You can enable it now. Fuck me. I wish I'd done these guys first. <laughs> Ending the shitty stealth mission. Ugh. Not a worse way.
Ahnung. No more EC2 crew and some new toys to play with. I think it's gonna be a good day after all. Yeah, there's a reason that we're starting that level. Little anticlimactic victory. No. London is ours, boys. Every last fucking dealer, pimp, thief, con man, and murderer had better kneel down and kiss our asses. Every dodgy deal and seedy scam, every robbery and racket is ours to run. This is our city now. And it's gonna stay that way. Well, hmm. complete. Oh, uh, that was good. Not as bad as the other one. That's because I beat it. Oh, so, you know. Because I beat it, it's much better than the ghetto one. I can play eight ball in this? Yes, I know. If you have a PSP and you want to play it, knock yourself out, it's pretty good. Although, do the EC2 crew first. Get the fuckers out of the way. Or is it? I hope the members of the Morris Kane firm enjoyed their brief time at the top because we are about to bring their reign oh, to finished. an abrupt end. Or maybe they was gonna make a Gangs of London 2 and they never did. Well, I guess I'll go for it. Because if there's some like super ultimate complete thing, like if you beat the game on really, there are different. Oh no, it's probably difficulty, right? Man, I like there's some. You know, beat the game as everyone unlock the fifth or sixth one or one. I don't want the fucking TV show or the video game. Oh, the TV show is actually adapted from the video game. No.
one from the opposite one of the TV show is the thing off this. No. Oh, wait, I'm off. There's enough for me to stick on for half an hour. But I will be back tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed. I've enjoyed this. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't. Let's all say Sunday, Monday, then Assassin's Creed Tuesday. So we've got two days. Two days to do whatever the hell I want. I'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, this guy is London. Not really much more to say to him than that. But uh, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. With something. Unless you have an idea, do let me know. Why do the getaway? I have to hate myself. But I don't know yet. More than I'll figure something out. Yeah, as always. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you tomorrow. And uh. Good night, as always. Keep safe. Ta-ta.